Welcome again back to Going Places 110. I'm Paul. Uh, we bit different today. We're going to just go out in the A110, going to go for a drive. Um, been very kindly invited along by the guys from the Scottish Roadrunners today. Uh, I'm going to go along to Cumbernauld to meet the guys uh, there, get a coffee, um, take a wee trip around the borders, have a little uh, portion of chips over in East Lothian somewhere, um, yeah, and have a look at some of the cars. So, thanks for joining me, and thanks to the guys from Scottish Roadrunners. Let's go. Give the car a quick fuel and a wash, so that's us on our way now. Should take us about 45 50 minutes to get to the meeting point. There we go, through the power of television, we've arrived. Film the drone. The video coming. Well, two, right. two videos, maybe. Three. Three. <laughs> you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll make it. Too many videos. Huh? Right. Right. Dominic from Spirited Drive, subscribe to, subscribe to the channel like if you haven't already. <laughs> like and subscribe to go in places 110. Cheers! <laughs> I'll be back. So, yeah. So, we got a good turn out of Mustangs this morning, as you can see. The A110, everything. This in there, Audi, Sports. That's uh, Dominic's. Morning! <laughs> Dominic's car. <laughs> Clock this one when it came in, they certainly heard it. Like the alloys. So I'm looking at some of the cars before we head off. This always makes me giggle. Hey, pal. Hello. Hello, puppy. All <laughs> <What> right. <laughs> well, that's different. We changed for the last one. <laughs> when did you get that? For people that are not really into cars and into driving, they'll not really kind of understand the, the simple joy you get out of bringing a car down, hanging around with some little minded folk, letting them have a look at the cars. I think it's a really good mixture here today. Um, I think it's going to be a, a good run out as well. Oh, the destination is going to be Musselburgh, which is uh, not far from home for myself. But yeah, let's keep having a look. GT4. <laughs> A lot of effort went into this, do you like that? Morning! <laughs> May have seen a few of these cars at, uh, at Ingolston for the, the car show we did in Ingolston fairly recently. Nice to catch up with everybody again. One of the shows we're at, this one is actually one of the, the prize winners on the day. Sorry. <laughs> Stuff will turn up. Classic Opal there, I like it. Sorry, using my phone. <laughs> One of only four left on the road, I'm told. <laughs> so as I was getting ready to go, that's everybody moving, all the cars lined up. So yeah, let's have a wee, wee run. Then, Lindsay 
said, Tilda, Darren, Thatcher, you guys good to go? Minted sent pig soon smiled. And then... On the move, um, got a couple of cars in front of me, a couple of the Mustangs ahead of me, uh, a couple of cars behind me. There's a couple of stops, so hopefully we'll all um, be able to kind of ca catch up with each other, get uh, back in the convoy. But yeah, looks like a good route so far. There you go, Jane will say this is the first time I've ever been to Airdrie. Navigating through all the, the Saturday shoppers in uh, deepest, darkest Airdrie, the Shibury Excelsior Stadium to my right, or whatever it's called these days. Left even. Unfortunately, any run, you can't legislate for the HGV full of oil. Isn't it amazing how even the smallest little village, when you're trying to get a convoy going, turns into the N8 at Rush Hour? in the process of navigating part of the A721 which is another great bit of road actually um, appreciate the scenery, the sun's come out um, got most of the convoy back together yeah, life is good it's been a good day so far again I just want to recap just thanks to the Scotch Roaders guys Jamie, Kirsty, uh, Lindsay's for having me along today um, yeah, just a great chance to get out in the car put the thing through its paces and yeah, just chat with some like minded folk I'll definitely be along for the next one but let's keep going people's there and just uh, for the first time saw another A110 on the road out for a drive um, wasn't part of the group don't think it's one that I've potentially seen before but yeah when you're driving a fairly unusual car and you see one the same you can't help but wave so uh, yeah if you're viewing this or you you know on the Alpine Facebook page let me know who you are but yeah nice to see you Just stopped in Inner Leithen just for a, a quick uh, toilet stop. Too many coffees this morning. Everybody just trying to find a, a place to park at the moment. As you can see. Managed to get everybody regrouped though, that's the most important thing. But yeah, as you can see in the background, the sun's come out. It's actually a really, really nice day again. He managed to get the short sleeves on. Hello. There you go. Everybody out just having a wee chat, enjoying the sun. We've, uh, we've got everybody back now. It's a little tight car at the back there, up in front. What's that? What is it? What is that? <laughs> I got a shot. Oh. <laughs> 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 all the way along here. Probably stay and watch the match. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. Good pit stop. <laughs> 
penunan. This is definitely one of the more unusual convoys I've ever been in. Good game of golf. We've lost a few of the guys, so we've just stopped for a quick pit stop, as you can see, a um, few photographs. We're going to head up there. Um, we'll catch up with them en route. Every time I go to turn the camera off about we turn a corner and the scenery gets better than it was. Can't say we're not lucky in this country in terms of roads. Do a few less cyclists, mind you, but never mind. Adjustment of the old uh, L360. There we are, Musselburgh Harbour.
absolutely stowed out. <laughs> yeah, he's up there. I can't see him getting that one. Can't really not have a look, so. Nothing like a Lambo to draw the kids' attention. I mean, we won't need that, that's one for hot glass. Yeah, definitely the worst places to end a run. Somebody else leaving as well, I think. Can't forget the, the F type here. Big fan of those. <laughs> the first one I crashed, they made me buy it first and claim it back. And I was like, I was like 30 days of like. We've got a car champion had now. Um, it's turn out. Just going to go and uh, check out the fish and chip situation. Right. Time for some scran. Can't think of a better way to finish a trip. Sacked off the fish supper for a hot dog and then a wee chips and curry sauce chaser. Why not? There we go. Without any prompting at all because the staff are absolutely lovely and the, the food is good as well. So if you're doing it muscle bro, have a look. Never do shooting breeze. No, that's it. You can't eat the GoPro. I just <laughs> Let's go! More beach! Aye, aye, just... 
So here we are, that's us at the Musselburgh Harbour there. It's been a, a really cracking run here. Hopefully some of the footage does it justice. I'm about to go on with a little van along there, get myself some uh, little bit of fish and chips. But yeah, again, thanks very much to the guys from the Scottish Roaders for having me along. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, if you've watched the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Jump on the first and then pull back second, third, and then, so to get it in the neutral you've got to nudge it, but I the clutch is Once you get that.